Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jesse from Beyond Adversity. This is my first Sony Vegas tutorial video uh, that I will be making for you guys. Um, it regards my last uh, video upload that's on my channel that you can check out if you look up NWC Media. Um, it's a zoom in effect. Um, if you ran across this video purposely, you know, looking for a zoom in effect, then this is. Uh, this is one way of a couple others that I've seen and um, I kinda just made it a little bit cleaner uh, just by adding my own uh, knowledge towards it so basically this is a transition effect that I'm talking about I'm gonna go ahead and play the video I, I love this transition effect so let's go ahead and jump into uh, the tutorial so I have Sony Vegas here opened up I got some example videos right here um, roughly five clips so right here is my uh, my music you can't see the sound waves I don't know why it stopped showing um, if you guys know fix to it please let me know but the first thing that I like to do is mark uh, every time the beat hits that that way I have a clean transition effect and it goes with the beat so I play uh, the media or the music and then I hold my finger on the M key on my keyboard and every time uh, it hits like the beat you know uh, the, the point where I want the zoom in effect uh, to take effect in um, I'll be pressing the M button so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I have um, five marks I think I'm only gonna be using four um, but these are the marks where I will be making my zoom in effects so it looks clean and you know on beat so I'm gonna go ahead and drag my clips to match those marks yeah I, I knew I wasn't gonna use this one so um, so the first thing you wanna do is once uh, you know the left side of the mark you always wanna get it lined up um, and then the right side you wanna push it four seconds uh, back that way um, you get a nice smooth blend um, transition effect. All right, cool. So once you have that lined up, um, you're pretty much set for the next move. And the next one is the zoom effect itself. You go right here to vent pan crop. Uh, you go ahead and click it. And then this is this obviously your first part of the transition. So right here, this is your number one. Uh, is your first mark where that zoom in zoom in transition effect will take place in. So um, for your first video, um, you want to click the pan and crop button, and towards the end of the video, you'll know, add a keyframe by double clicking or adding the keyframe making sure that it's pushed all the way to the right uh, this thing right here the scroller and um, you want to make sure that's highlighted and you want it to you, you want to zoom in you know and then you just want to add it to uh, whatever area you choose so let's for today let's go ahead and add it to the top right corner if you get this black bar over here that just means you just gotta zoom in more, get rid of it, or just simply move it somewhere else. But for now, we'll leave it there. So um, that's your zoom in part of the video. You want to highlight this one. Make sure it's uh, blinking blue and orange. Then you want to move it over uh, roughly seven to ten keyframes. It depends. 
uh, just test it out yourself before you actually make a decision. So let's do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I push it to uh, the left 10 keyframes by pressing the left arrow key on my keyboard. So I'm going to add a keyframe and then I'm going to highlight the key and then I'm going to right click on the center or I don't think you have to click on the center. No. And then just click restore. So for this whole part of the video right here that I'm scrolling through there's no effect until it gets to this keyframe and then it's going to begin to uh, zoom in to the top right corner so making it appear like this like that so um, I'm going to move it over a few more keyframes um, just like right here So that's pretty clean right there. Um, yeah, my computer's kind of slow. I need to upgrade my processor uh, so that I can edit and play footage in the best quality. So now, right now, I have to bring it down. So it's kind of a hassle. But I make it work. So that's all that matters. But anyway, that's the first part of the transition. Second one, you know, you want to go to the second part of the video. You want to click the this, the pan and crop. Then, if you guys remember, on the first part of the video, I had it zoom in to the top right corner. So always, when you're zooming into any part of the video, so let's say from the bottom, you know, the next video you're gonna want it to zoom out from the top. So imagine there's a um, here, let me spread this open. So always imagine that your, your next video is in every single one of these squares. So there's the same next video here, 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 here. You're going to all surround it. So uh, in this case, it was up on the top right corner. So your next video means um, it should zoom out from the bottom left corner. That way, it, you know, it's zooming in here and, and then it's zooming out. So it makes it look super clean and that's something I haven't um, heard any uh, anybody talk about. You know, they just have you zoom in in the middle and then, you know, zoom out and stuff like that. So this is something I figured out on my own and thought I might show you guys. So, um, yeah, and that goes with everything. So if you're going to zoom in right here... Then you have to zoom in out on your next video at the bottom part of the video since you're zooming in on the top. I hope that makes sense. So let's go ahead and uh, get this smaller. So we're going to bring it down here and then it closes in. You know, that's your first keyframe. Um, so you want to make sure it's on the first keyframe, then you want to move it over. Uh, let's say 15 keyframes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then add a keyframe, click on it, make sure it's highlighted, right click, restore. Um, I forgot to do this, but uh, on your first, key fr first keyframe, you want to make sure um, it's a fast, it enters uh, the transition uh, quick and it leaves it out slow so it's going in fast and it comes out slow um, and then for your last one you know you want to do the same you want it to uh, go in slow and come out fast so since it's the opposite side you know um, the next video the first keyframe starts in the beginning of the video so um, yeah you want it to uh, starting fast um, and then come out slow so anyway um, this is how it looks like right now well let me make sure this is finished yeah so this, this is how it looks so 
you can see it's pretty clean. I like it. Um, let's uh, let's double check something really quick. Let's decrease that. You can mess around until you like it. So you don't really have to follow um, my exact, uh, like exactly where I put my keyframes in. I'm obviously trying to go with the beat. So yeah, so that's the effect. I'm going to go ahead and do it to the rest of the video. And then I'll go ahead and save the video and then I'll show it to you guys so you guys know how it looks like when it's all put together. Um, yep. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to make some more. I know this was my first video. I apologize if things didn't really make sense, but I tried to make everything sound pretty simple for you guys. Um, at in the end of everything, it is, you know, it's all on you. You know, um, you'll find your own method. Uh, you'll learn a little bit from this video, a little bit from another video, and you'll start manipulating, you know, your own way of editing and stuff and I think that's what's important um, you know there's videos of people making awesome transition effects and then all we want to do is just copy 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 you know it shouldn't really be like that um, in other words I think we should learn from them and then make them better you know because I think that's what um, filmmaking is about I think um, I think it's important to improve the skills you have right now and making them better than they were yesterday. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching my tutorial video. Uh, if you did find this helpful, make sure you don't leave without leaving a thumbs up or give me your thoughts in your comments. Maybe there's another tutorial video you want to uh, you want me to make and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I hope you guys have a good night or good day wherever you are in the world. All right, signing out. See you.